Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be doing a Kawhi Sanrio haul for December. First up we have these cute little Hello Kitty pushing embroidery kits by Stitch and Story. And I want to say thank you to Stitch and Story for sending this to me for free to review. I can't wait to put these iron-on patches on my jacket. These patches are really smooth and so they're not like your typical iron-on patches. They seem like they're really high quality. Isn't the packaging on these boxes amazing? I love how it has the gold bow and this is such a cute design. I haven't done a cross-stitch kit in quite a while but I used to do these when I was younger and they're really fun. On the back it shows you everything your kit includes and this is everything that you need to make this cute little design. And let's take a moment to admire these Hello Kitty rainbows. So I wanted to get another bento box because I found that for my younger daughter Valentina, the larger bento boxes that I purchased before were a little too big for her and this is more of an appropriate size. Valentina also has a little twin stars container for fruit from Yesel, so that's why I got this one. So I also wanted to get some more of these mini Tupperwares because I put fruit in them every day. And I only have one for each of my kids, so I wanted to get an extra one so I don't have to be pressured to do dishes. These are little name stickers that you can use to put your kid's name on the Tupperwares, but since they're going to share and they're like the only ones who bring these kinds of things to school, I didn't put their name on them. The blue one is actually large enough to be a lunch container and then the purple and pink ones I'm going to use to put fruit in their lunch. So my daughter has been eyeing my multicolor friction ball pen. And I didn't let her have it because I always use it for work, but she wanted a multicolor pen too. So when I saw this on the San Rio website, I decided to get this for her. I 
sometimes it's hard to find Kuromi stuff, so whenever I see it, I will buy it. That's why I got this notepad. So here's this little mini card set, which comes with like six note cards. It was kind of pricey. I think this was around five US dollars, so a little less than a dollar per card, but these are so adorable. I like how they're miniature because you can give them to somebody and not feel like you have to write a whole bunch of stuff inside the card. And they're so cute. All the cards are the same, it would have been nice if they were different, if they had different designs, but the envelopes are all different colors. So super satisfying to look at, but check this out. On the inside, there's this cute little piano and um, the little squirrel and my melody. So I love these cards, I think they're so adorable. I would love to receive one of these. I also like how they put a design on the envelope and they have something on the front and on the back. And then I didn't see this when I had initially opened the pack, but there's stickers on the label, which is such a nice use of space. So you can seal your card with a cute little sticker. I also saw these cute little suitcases on the Sanrio website, so I decided to get one for each of my girls. I'm pretty sure they're not really going to care about the memo paper and use this mostly as suitcases for their dolls. The memo pad has two different designs. The first one has like a purple stripe with Kuromi on it. And then the other one has more of a white background and a scalloped edge with Kuromi on it, but it looks very similar. And then on the other side of the memo, there's like a little design as well. My other daughter's favorite character is Pochoco, but they didn't have a Pochoco suitcase available, so I got this My Melody one, and I think she'll like it because she really likes pink. When she was four years old, she would only wear pink, and so, all of like the blue and other colored clothes that we got for her, she would never wear. Like everything had to be pink. But luckily when my second daughter came along, she was more open to wearing different colors when she was four years old. So some of those clothes got some use. And then since then, my daughter, my older daughter has grown up and she's grown out of the pink stage. So now she'll wear a lot of different colors, um, but she still likes pink, I think. And now that I'm thinking about it, uh, the other thing about my older daughter when she was in kindergarten, she always had to be the fanciest person in the room. So if anyone was a little bit more dressy than her, she would go and change her clothes so that she would be the fanciest. And um, now she's changed a lot. She doesn't like to wear dresses, only t-shirts and pants. I save the best for last. This is my favorite thing in this entire haul and I'm keeping this one for myself, but I will use it to write notes to put in my kids' school lunches. And this is very similar to a notepad that I got online from Japan. It was a Kiki and Lala notepad. And this is so cool because it has five different notepads and you can fold up these notes into like mini notes and you don't need an envelope. They have their own cute little enclosure. And these designs are so adorable.
I love how Kuromi is wearing glasses in this picture. I think this is so cute. And look at how it, this is its own little airmail envelope. It even has a postage stamp on it. And it's slightly creased so you know where to fold it. Um, and then it has a little cutout so you can slip the tip of the letter in. And it's like a self-enclosed envelope. I love how the bow sticks out on this one. It looks like a tiny little present. This would make a great gift tag on a Christmas gift. I love the design on this one too. I like this little sailor dress. And wait till you guys see how it folds up. Don't you just love how the little bow comes out? And it's so cute how it has that little Kuromi skull. So my daughters love it when I put a little note in their lunch. I don't always do it because I don't always have time. But I'm really excited to use these papers. I decided not to fold up the last one, but you just fold it into quarters. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I always want to give a big thank you and shout out to my Patreons and channel members. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. I really appreciate it. And if you guys want to join my Patreon family or my channel membership, you get a preview of my videos before anyone else gets to watch them. So check the link in the description box if you guys are interested in joining. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.